Hey, this is Dr. Summer after the show here with um, this gentleman who stays at the men's shelter and he was fortunate enough to get a bed because there's so few beds there. What's it like living there and why are you there? Well, I'm there because I'm homeless and uh, I'm out here looking for work every day, but it's just hard. There's no work to stop there. So we have to stay over there and uh, it's not too pleasant to stand there. How did you end up over there? What happened to you? Well, I got unemployed, and my unemployment ran out, and uh, that's where I ended up at. You said there's a shortage of food. Oh, yeah. They, they used to have, like, snacks at night and everything, but now uh, I guess people are not donating food like they used to, so there is this kind of shortage of food, and they really need some help over there. They have a waiting list for beds in the men's shelter? Yes, they do. Oh, my goodness. It's yeah, rough. Yeah, it's real rough, man. Yeah. If you're not there by 9 o'clock, you lose your bed. And then somebody, is it like a cot or is it a bed? Or? Yeah, it's just, a, it's just a cot, that's all it is. But it's cold outside. And oh, yeah, it's cold outside. There's a lot of guys that don't make it in. They're sorry for them. It's that say, bad. Yeah, I mean, because I know it gets cold outside. Yeah. That place is, is, is at its max right now. And you didn't make it in the day? No. To get food, huh? No, not to get food, no. Okay, Walter, thank you. Hope it gets better for you. And, uh, and if you'd like to donate toward Walter, just go to www.healinghandsmagazine.com and we'll get any donation that you get over to Walter to help him because he only has a few more weeks to stay at the men's shelter because there's a time limit on yes, how is. long that you can stay there. And it doesn't matter if it's clothes, food, bicycle, anything. Thank you.